and the context in which what you're posting is absolutely key. Because let me walk you through this example. How many of you have seen those recipes on Facebook and you're like, oh, that's a nice recipe. Like I never knew you could make that thing with Oreos and marshmallows and all that stuff, right? If I was creating, if I was making cookies and I had a video on Facebook, would you think that was crazy or would you be like, yeah, that makes sense for Facebook? You'd be like, yeah, that makes sense for Facebook. How many of you would agree? Something like that on Facebook wouldn't feel weird. You'd be like, oh, well, we see that all the time. If I did a version of that on Instagram, I'd probably, I, I can't put too long of a video, even though Instagram just recently brought out IGTV. Have you guys heard about that? Yeah. So now you can put longer than one minute videos. But even on Instagram, if you're scrolling, I don't want longer than a minute, right? They won't even allow you. So I would put a condensed version of that thing because I know my audience just wants to probably see me going and then wants to see the cookies come out the oven. That's what the audience wants for Instagram. They don't want that long video. So LinkedIn, LinkedIn's meant to be professional, right? Mm -hmm. If I told you I was going to post the same video that I did on Facebook on LinkedIn, what would you say to me? (laughs) That's not a good idea, right? Because it's meant to be a business uh, platform, right? But what if I told you, what if I put that video on LinkedIn and all I did was write I'm super excited for my team because they, um, they knocked out their goal for the quarter, and so I'm baking them cookies. Yeah. Then it's okay, right? Yeah. Then you're like, oh, yeah, that, yeah, you can put it then. You give me the pass. But it's the context in which what I shared made the difference. Mm-hmm.